What's going on YouTube? It is Mark here and welcome back to Topic Tuesday. And before we get started, I just want to explain something about Topic Tuesday. Um, I'm not going to talk about uh, the game that I'm playing, like, like a uh, commentary about the gameplay or whatever you want to call it, just so you understand. I'm going to talk about just random stuff because we have six other days of the week to have like topics about per se MW3. Um, this is live gameplay. It's always going to be live gameplay on Topic Tuesday, just for to be shits and giggles, you know. Something cool, something new. But today, I just want to talk about my move and like, like I said before, I'm moving and. Just so you know, I'm not moving like very far or anything. I'm still going to go to the same school that I go to and everything like that. But next week, I don't, I don't know exactly when my internet's going to be set up or anything. But I don't know if I'll be able to get Topic Tuesday up next week either. Even though I said that about this week, I still am because we had about, oh, I'm going to say three weeks to get moved out of this house to the new one. And... All I pretty much have here is bed, clothes, and my PS3. <laughs> and I really... Uh, I don't know how I feel about moving, you know? I would like to stay in the same town I am because I have my friends here. Or I go to a small school, so there's not a lot of people here, so I have a few friends, you know? It's, I, my class size is about 17, so if you guys have, like, a small class size, let me know because that's really cool. I, I feel like... Uh, you get a lot more out of being in a smaller class because there's more opportunities to do things, and that's cool, which I really like. I don't think I'd enjoy being in a big school. I mean, the one thing that I really like do enjoy most of all is track. I mean, I could probably still do track in a bigger school. I got fifth at state in my class, which is a 1A division, which is the smallest class size with, for the 400 meter dash, which is one lap around the track, if you don't know and the 4 by 100 meter relay which is just a 100 meter and we got what 7th in that and I got 5th in the 400 and state so that's pretty good but on top of that I had a fractured hip the whole time I was running and didn't even know it which is crazy right um yeah something something had been hurting me a month before save had come along and I was like man this is really bothering me and I don't know but we just kept stretching it out. I've been going to physical therapy. They just told me it was nothing. It was just like stress on my muscles and whatnot. And so, you know, I fought through it. I fought through it. And then state came along and I was like, ow, mom, I think I tore something. And so after state, we went ahead and we got a MRI done and some x-rays done and whatnot. And sure enough, I, <laughs> guess what, fractured. Right, which kind of made me feel good, you know, being able to place at state with a fractured hip, that's pretty cool. I mean, how many people can say that they've done that? Which, it was my first time at state, I'm the senior next year, so I'm going to be going off to college soon. If I go to college or not, I probably should have took that care package. But that's okay, I'm going to go ham with these guys, this gun is a beast, oh my gosh. But, yeah. If you guys have any crazy sport related stories, I want to know, comment below. I'd also like to know what sports you guys play, because I often do play basketball, and I played a little bit of football for two years. My senior year, I'm going to try cross country, um, and that's about it. I mean, like, me and my guy classmates, we're all like really good friends and whatnot, and we all do scholars bowls just for pretty much fun. Which is freaking cool because you go into uh, a different school, go there, answer questions with your best buds, and we tear it up together and have a good time. We, we know we're not like the best out there, but funny story about that is too that we went to regionals to qual- well, we had a place in the top three to qualify for state. So we're going to regionals and we get there. We're joking around like we're going to state. First round, okay, we. We beat a team that ended up getting third place, and we didn't know that at the time, but we're like, oh yeah, we're doing so well. We went one in seven out of out of the all the matches. So we won our first round, and we thought we were gonna go to state, but no. 
That didn't happen, so we got completely shot. But we did beat a team that did go to state, if that tells you anything about Scholar's Bowl. Some people call it Quiz Bowl, but that's just me. But anyway, I like how I ended up talking about my move and going on to talk about school. Which is a weird transition. Not really. It's pretty much like pretty similar topics. But no, I'm moving like 15 miles away. I might have said that before. I don't really know. As it flies, it's kind of hard to talk play at the same time. But I am 16-9. 16 and 10. I am terrible. Let me tell you. <laughs> Anyways, I just hope you guys understand what I'm coming from. I don't know. Um, for the bigger city people that go to like bigger schools that maybe don't do any like activities or anything. I do feel bad for you guys because experiencing this is like, I don't know, it just makes you like, gives you something to do I guess, you know, it you something to look forward to every day and just to try hard and to be proud about if you do something good. I mean you can do good in academics and that's cool too, but being able to show off your talents is cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this random ass topic, and I hope you, get, you guys enjoy the gameplay as we clutch the win, winning by two, because I was 21-11 on top of that leaderboard, like always. I will see you guys later, okay? Enjoy this last kill. Okay, see ya.